Alrighty, YouTube, how's it going? My name's Alan. I uh, started this little deal, Geronimo Blade Works. Um, if you just subbed to my channel, it's because of Super C Richards. Thanks a lot, buddy. Um, Super C, if you're not a subscriber of his, you better get over there and do it. He's a genuinely nice guy. I mean, he's a real good dude. Um, this video is about my 1x30 here. I got a couple requests to get a little more in depth with how I modded it out and how I get some of these clean grinds I have. <clears throat> First thing you see is it's the same 1x30 everybody has from Harbor Freight. Uh, first thing, I got rid of this stupid plastic guard on there. It just, I don't need it on there. It takes a long time to change out belts because you got to take it off and on every time. <clears throat> My little uh, ratchet there broke, so now I just use a set of ice grips. It's a lot easier, a lot faster. Take that off. And move you in here a little closer. So what I did is I took my tool tray that mounts here and I put this link in between. I found a new bolt, put a nut on there, got another nut here in the back, you tighten it down and then you got your original mount for your tool rest and I got it mounted up here. Now what this does is when you loosen this one here it allows your entire assembly to move back and forward so this gets you up off the sander gets your tool tray up now with this one here you loosen this very quick you loosen this here and now you can set your angle on your tool rest. So, what I got here is a little angle gauge. That's how I can kind of tell where I'm at. Put it on your tool rest, go back and forth. When you get it where you want it, just lock it back down. You're set. As far as getting the blade ready, I use a piece of Bosch rail, aluminum Bosch rail. You can use anything that's squared. Got a little 4 inch C clamp on there. This is just a piece of 1095 I ruined playing around with different grinds. But, uh, <clears throat> set it up on your tool rest now. And I actually use the edge of the clamp here for my plunge line stop. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. I got the blade mounted on something that's squared. And then I'm using the clamp as my Ricasso or Ricasa stop there. Let's see how it works. Goes in, hits your platen. Now if you do this mod, the platen that comes with this sander stops right about here. So this platen I had to make I made out of mild steel. You can see it gives me a little bit of slack belt there that I use for doing uh, my convexed edges and contouring some of the handles. But you gotta have that taller one because when you put this link in there, oh, there it is. When you put that link in there, it raises your tool rest up quite a bit. So then once you mount this stuff on there, you're sitting up that much higher now. So you want that nice tall platen. So, I guess I'll do a quick demo. I'll just do a couple passes. Oops, sorry about my fat hand there. Get this thing set in right again. I don't have a tripod or anything like that. Sorry about that, guys. All right, I'll just do a couple. I'm not gonna gauge it or anything. Just show you. You can do the different angles real easy. So.
Bear with me, I'm gonna pick you back up again. Alright, what was that? About a minute? This is an 80 grit belt. Find the light here. Come on, focus. There we go. It's an 80 grit belt. You can see I got a little bit of a plunge line going. Let's see if I can find the right angle. And just a tiny little shelf there. But you can see, as you keep going, it'll get straight. Alright, I'm going to set you back up. We'll change the angle a little bit, steeper. Show you how you can do some secondaries. Alright, bear with me. We're going for another ride. Alright. There you can see. It's good for doing your swedges. You can set it up to do your secondary bevel for your final edge. Right, simple little setup. It's not really a jig. just holds my workpiece for me. Um, as far as getting it even on both sides I just judge by the height that I have everything set on this piece of uh, railing as long as you have it on the same height on both sides your grinds come out fairly even so I hope that helped out with you guys sorry if I bored you but that's your little 1x30 that's how I ground out uh, Super C Richard's blade, along with some of my other ones here. You've seen all these on my channel. Yes, even the Tontos. The Tontos were also ground using this method. Alright guys. Thanks a lot for checking me out. Have a good day. See you later.